And that's basically what we're talking about. So you can have all the resources in the world. You can have all the help from the Americans and the Plutonians or whatever you have. But if you don't have that ability as a human soul in this space to recognize that you have a very important part to play in that time when even the police, the fire, and not even the best resources can come to you, it's going to be a time in your life, and if it is not in your life, hopefully, let's hope it's not in your life, in your time, it is going to be with your children or your grandchildren. And if you don't begin the process, remember the girl said, it's a process. Resiliency is not an outcome alone. It's a process that has to start. And we may have lost a lot of spirituality. But you know, I, I asked you some, I'll ask you a question. How many people have gone to weights? Has any one of you all ever seen these moths at weights? Raise up your hand if anybody went to a wake and ever saw a moth. Amazing. Maybe I'm spiritual, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. But the literature has shown that at these funerals or wakes, in a number of instances throughout the world, there's little moths that come to rest. Maybe some of you are afraid to explore your spirituality. But this is part of what you have to do. You ever got a dream of a close 